What is up you guys, Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Figma plugin Iconify. Um, with this plugin we'll be able to, you know, toss some really nice icons into our mocks, or our final visual designs. Um, it's one of the most popular plugins, uh, links in the description if you haven't installed it already. And uh, once you have it installed, go to your desired file. Uh, let me just rename that to subscribe real quick. And uh, it's pretty simple. It'll export out as a frame, so if we right click, Go to plugins and select Iconify. You'll get this uh, dialog or modal, whatever you want to call it. And you'll have access to all these general libraries for icons. And also down below, you'll have access to uh, emoticons. That's why I like to call them emoji icons. And uh, brands, <coughs> maps, and themes. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, one thing I did notice with this uh, plugin is I'm not sure if this applies to all of the icon libraries because I haven't used all the icon libraries, but for I know for material design icons, if I select this bad boy um, and add the icon to my file, um, you'll notice that this is not the desired icon that I chose. That's just a heads up. Just know that this isn't perfect, but uh, for the most part, a lot of the icons do work. So it, it could be particularly um, it, like particular to the library of icons. So I don't know what's going on with this material design icon library, but um, for example, if we go back here, um, notice that once you're in a library, you can search specifically within that library or, or within the whole suite of Iconify's um, libraries. And if we go back, uh, I'm just gonna close that. Whoops, I'm gonna right click, go back to Iconify. And if we go back, uh, we could go to, uh, like for example, Font Awesome icons. Um, I haven't had any issues with that. And there's some extra settings as well within these icons. You can actually flip the icon. And once you apply these settings, you have a little preview here. So once you click hor horizontal, you'll notice that it's, it's being flipped horizontally, but it's so symmetric that you can't really tell. Um, there you go. You can see vertically. You can change the color, uh, change that to white if I wanted to, or whatever that does. There you go, yellow, 90 degrees, 180, you get it. Um, you can also add and close this, which will close the panel out. So there you have it, your icons, which are then imported as a, as a vector within a frame with its naming convention. So if we go back to plugins and go to Iconify, um, we can also check out some, some emojis if you wanted to, add that. Um, you could also modify before adding it to the library if you want to flip it um, horizontally or vertically or change the rotation. So there's another icon. It's pretty straightforward. Um, add another icon, very straightforward. Um, there's also, I noticed some tags within this library that you can access. And, um, the, and there's also uh, a views as well. So if we go back, um, you can change this from the grid view to list view, and it'll give you the exact dimensions and what tags the icons um, have attached to it, uh, which is nice. Um, all preference again and um, I can show you some some maps some map icons it's very helpful but it's all very straightforward um, I guess where you'll come across issues as well is uh, if I open back up Iconify um, we go down to uh, brands and logos I notice like some logos such as Airbnb's logo isn't like isn't really doesn't display properly like I don't know what's going on there but yeah just just a heads up not all logos are perfect but um, yeah guys that's how you utilize the Iconify plugin library I mean Iconify plugin in Figma and I uh, hope you found that useful um, if you have any other questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below otherwise I'll catch you later